the latest release of Pangolin, you now have the option to automatically install and configure CrowdSec on existing or new installations of Pangolin. So I will quickly show you here how easy it is to use our installer script to add on CrowdSec to my already running Pangolin instance. So here is my dashboard for Pangolin uh, with a resource created. And uh, here is my EC2 running the stack. So if I run Docker PS, you can see that I have my containers running and CrowdSec here is not installed. I am on the latest 1.0.0 beta 15. So if you haven't yet updated to a version greater than that, uh, please do so before doing this. Uh, the next step would be to shut down um, the stack. So I can do Docker compose down. And then while that's shutting down, I can go back to the docs and copy the uh, installer command here. And that's because I need to download the installer so I can run it again. And you must use the up-to-date version of the installer for this as well. So I'll pull this down and then I can run sudo um, and execute the installer. And you'll notice here it detects that I already have Penguin running. Um, it's important that when you run the installer, you run it in the same directory that has the config files for Pangolin. So I'll select yes to this question and it will confirm that it has read the, those correct values from the config file and yes, those are correct. So I'll, I'll say yes. And what it's gonna do here is it's going to uh, shut everything down, make sure it's, it's stopped. It's going to then add CrowdSec and, make, and also put all of the config values into the traffic files as well as create all of the CrowdSec config files and then restart everything for you. There we go, it was that easy. And then if I run docker compose logs follow, you can see here that CrowdSec is now started up and uh, looks like it's ready. So if I go back to the dashboard, because you'll see that I can load it as normal, that's expected, that means it's working correctly. So to make sure that CrowdSec is running as expected, I can use the CrowdSec CLI to create a decision that will block my IP address. And I'll show that I can't access the dashboard after doing that. And then I'll unblock the dash, uh, I'll unblock my IP address and show that I can access the dashboard. So I will exit the logs and then I need to bash into the CrowdSec container, which I can do so by running sudo docker exec dash it CrowdSec and then bash. And now I have a bash session inside of the CrowdSec container and I can run CSCLI decisions list and you'll see I currently have no active decisions. So I'm going to create one by doing decisions add dash dash IP and then paste in my public IP address. It'll go ahead and add that decision and then instantly I should be blocked. Yes, so I'm blocked from the dashboard. I'm getting a 403 error um, because the CrowdSec bouncer that was added to traffic is rejecting um, this blocked IP. So now I can unblock my IP by using the delete keyword instead of add. That decision was deleted and then I can reload and you'll see here that I can access the dashboard. So that is only the scratching the surface of what CrowdSec can do. Um, it pulls from publicly um, created IP block lists to maintain better security. Uh, if you would like to configure more settings, um, please visit the CrowdSec docs you can also optionally enroll your CrowdSec instance with CrowdSec's cloud dashboard. Um, we decided to leave that out of the installer by default since it's more of an opt-in service. Um, but overall, uh, I hope this makes it easier for you to use CrowdSec with your Penguin instance.